Welcome back everybody, it's Asus Lynx here and today we're going to be doing a quick cleaning video of the bike. I've been out recently um, on the on the roads and they've been spraying this new like salt shit as opposed to putting actual salt on the road and I find it's quite um, quite corrosive on some of the uh, parts of the bike so I guess keeping it clean especially in the winter is um, pretty important if you want to keep your bike in semi-decent condition. Um, so I've just got a few bits that I've already done. Um, so using um, BMW's motorbike cleaner. Now I usually use their wipes. They do the thunder wipes. Sadly, they stopped doing them for some strange reason because they were like really, really good wipes. Um, they stopped doing them. So I went and asked what cleaner they've got on this. It comes with no instructions. You really don't know if you need to do it dry or wet. Um, by that I mean, with water or without, whether you can just spray it on and wipe it off or, um, so I did it with water just to be safe. So I've already sprayed the bike with this, left it for five minutes and uh, using like a higher pressure hose, not a, of course, not a pressure wash, uh, but like a higher pressure hose, um, sort of went over it and it's really good. Really, really, really good. Better than expected. Um, I used to use, Oxford's mint one, the green one uh, that you can get from sports bike shop. That's okay, um, but I find it's it even in cooler weather it just evaporates pretty quickly. Whereas this is like a bit thicker and a bit more um, uh, heavy duty, I guess you could say. So yeah, that's it there. I'm sure you guys can see. Cool. So that's the first one we've used. Um, we've not actually done any more to it. That's all we've done. We've dried it, of course. Um, so our second step is going to be using the Motul um, Shine and Go Spray. This is the first time I've used this. Usually I use, um, of course, Muck Off. This isn't actually it, but I usually use Muck Off's um, Polish. That's also really good. So it'll be interesting to see. I gave this a quick spray earlier, not on the bike, but just, and it's got the same sort of consistency. It literally just smells different. So, um, and actually the 10 quid 25 um and this was from sports bike shop so they'll this is probably the quickest the, the cheapest sorry that, that that you can actually get it um because they price match anything in the uk um i'm not endorsed by them by the way <laughs> just before. but yeah that's 10 quid for this and you get a big big bottle second one we're going to be using a dry chain loop for the chain and i like to use white spirit i think it's really 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 good at getting um like chain oil off and actually properly cleaning your chain. Um, I don't use a brush. If you use this, I find that you don't really need to use a brush. Some people do. It, you know, I'll, you'll be able to see how how it works and how how I do it and how I prefer to do it. Um, beer and nobody else around you. That's all all you need really. So yeah, we will uh, quickly get into it with shine and go, um, shine and go spray. So you can actually see, you can see it on there. You see how it sort of looks like a 3D pearlescent paint. There, yeah, my lovely broken finger. <laughs> this sort of like 3D pearlescent paint. That's actually the layer that that um, polish is put on. Um, so yeah, this is pretty good. Plastics are all done. Just give it a quick uh, That looks pretty, pretty damn good. I'm very happy with that. As I said, this is my first time using it as well. Uh, so, yeah, it's come out quite, quite nicely. Yeah, as I said, you can use it on, um, on your matte plastics as well. It's, it's not, not very greasy to be fair, but it's pretty, Pretty good, yeah, happy with that.
what I'm going to do is just literally get whack a little bit of that on there. And then we get to uh, get a squid out of it. Now, I quite, I quite like to use it something that's a bit, um, it's a bit more, a bit more rough. Um, what I mean by that is sort of this, the texture of the actual cloth itself. Um, it's a bit more, a bit rougher than like the ones that I was using to polish. Which means you can get uh, in and out of the, uh, in and out of the old cracks. There's a bit of a better angle now. See all the inside there, you got all that shit from the chain. Whack a bit of uh, white spirit on the um, on the cloth, and voila, it will get all that um, all that shit off the inside. You can go along the literally get right in everywhere what's what you can do as well is you can put the white spirit in a spray bottle um, means you can uh, literally just spray it on and it's a bit easier than just whacking it on the cloth right so we've just given the chain some time to sort of dry off and make sure it is actually fully dry and just a little bit on the sprocket there um, the chain loop I'm using is the muck off a dry chain loop now i quite like the muck off product but do not use the one with the pink label I, I think it's something like um oh fuck it's not like wet chain loop but it is it will genuinely coat the entire inside of your wheel with shit this is the only muck off one that i would use personally and you know i would I would literally stand by the muck off st stand in the sports bike shop and tell people not to buy that because it is because it is so bad and it just like all this will be clogged up with shit and if you're riding in the winter or even in the summer you know especially when in the summer when your bike's supposed to be clean and you know you don't want the entire inside covered in crap so you know your bike still looks good and um and to be fair it doesn't last that long it doesn't last any longer than the dry chain loop so you know this is this is here for high performance on and off right road riding in dry to damp conditions so as long as you're not riding it in the piss wet you're fine Now, sort of a final bit that we can we could do um, once you've sort of finished and um, dried everything off. Now, there are some parts on this bike where water can collect um, around the engine. You can literally just turn the bike on, leave it for a bit, and it, it you know it should evaporate. Um, but what I would recommend doing is literally what all the other videos on my channel are is an ac 50 this stuff is like really really good um just i mean 
those people that use it know how good it is. Um, if you don't use it, you're losing out. I'm not gonna like, force you to use it or say you're an idiot for not using it because if you take good care of your bike and clean it regularly anyway, it doesn't need to be used. But it's just peace of mind, you know, if you spray your whole bike with it and you get caught in the rain, you're not constantly worrying about, you know, it getting rusty or if you don't have your cleaning stuff with you, um, you've not actually got to worry about cleaning it. So, um, yeah, definitely a quick one um, with this. If you get it in a spray bottle, don't, and what I mean by getting it in a spray bottle is buy a separate sort of um, a plant watering spray bottle, I don't know what the fuck they're called. Get one of them, put it in there, put it in a bucket of warm water, and what it does is it loosens up, makes it a bit mistier to spray. Spray it on fucking everything, could be brake pads, could be foot pegs, could be bars. Um, anything that you touch, you do not want it on because it's like mega slippery. So, um, like can sit in your seat, like even you can get it on your fairings, it, it's anti-corrosion. Your fairings aren't gonna corrode. It's not gonna stop a stone chip, um, but it does bring out the color. It's quite nice to have on your fairings. So it's your choice whether you want to put it on there. Um, I put it on these parts of the fairings. I think it brings out the color quite nicely. However, I don't put it where, where my inside of my leg is going to be on here because it is a bit slipperier, a bit more slippery, sorry. Um, so, yeah, um, we've got a little bit of uh, standing water left, I think, in there. I can see a tad. So, just going to turn it on. Um, also gives, um, cause I've, I've, not, I've not been riding with the baffle in recently. Um, I quite like 